The retiring Liberal MP for Parramatta has admitted it's going to be tough for the party to retain the Western Sydney seat. Our reporters Danica De Giorgio and Gabriella Power join us live first to Danica. How crucial is winning Parramatta for both camps, Danica? It's about as crucial as a discussion you were just having with Kenny there about what you put in your sausage sizzle, uh, Pete. Can I, before we get down to business, I told you I'm going to find a sausage sizzle. Let's, let's just come one. over here just very, very quickly. We've got Diane. Diane working the barbecue very well here at Wentworth Point. How's the day been so far? It is perfect weather for a sausage. So if you're in the area... This is where you need to be. Absolutely. You're doing a great job. You've been really going for that for a while. We've we moved down the train line here, Pete. We've got Chris. She's perfectly cutting the buns. How's it going, Chris? Good. I'm getting the hang of it now. Yeah, a few hundred? Yeah, a few hundred, that's a lot. Move one more down this production line. We've got banana cake being sold by Leon. Leon, how are you? Yeah, I'm a good. Yeah? Busy day? I think so. So we're doing a very good job. These are the workers here today, uh, Pete. We, we're, just, we're just here to enjoy it. But look, down to business. Busy electorate, Parramatta, held by the Liberals on a margin of 6.5%. But it's the retiring Liberal MP who currently holds it, and that's a headache for the Dominic Perrottet government as he looks to reclaim victory this evening. The Liberal candidate is Katie Mullins. She is a lawyer on the other side. It's a very popular local mayor. Her name is Donna Davis. I caught up with them both today. They admit it's going to be a tight race. I spoke to Jeff Lee, the retiring member, he also admits it's got to be very tough for the Liberals here. This is what he said. Katie, unfortunately, was selected fairly late on in the piece. We've seen a mayor that's worked for the last two years using that position to promote themselves. So it's going to be a tough ask for us to get over the line, but we're going to work till right till 6 o'clock. Parramatta is traditionally a, a marginal seat. Traditionally, whoever holds government holds Parramatta. Cost of living really is a key issue here in Parramatta. In fact, it has the second highest number of renters in the state, just below the Sydney electorate. And I've been speaking to voters all day here, and cost of living is front of mind when they're placing their votes. The economic situation is one of the most important issue for me, because uh, at the moment uh, it's very hard to find a job. Uh, maybe families. Families? Families, yeah. They yeah. care about uh, children. That's a priority. And schools. Public education. Education. And disability. And disability. It's more about, uh, you know, how we can um, help infrastructure because there is so much population coming in and uh, uh, with the migration and all that. So, Pete, we know that uh, whatever side Parramatta falls to, it pretty much guarantees that that side will win tonight. So, one to watch. Hmm. I'm going to go and try one of Diane's world-famous, as she's been saying, okay. snags. Uh, so, I'll leave it with you there. What are you going to have with the snag? I'm actually quite plain Jane. Uh, I only like sausage in bun and onions. No condiments. I don't like any toppings, nothing. No condiments, no. Oh. I don't, no cheese. No cheese. I don't, I don't know now. I don't know why that's uh, controversial. But anyway, uh, let me know, folks, if you agree. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. But it's all right to be plain. I don't mind that. Danica, thank you. You're not plain, by the way.